and just about every home micro there is lets you upgrade to disk, even the Spectrum here with its micro drives has attracted floppy disk interfaces. This one here is called the Beta Plus and it costs about £95. It hooks your Spectrum up to a disk drive, uh, which itself will cost another £100 or so. Well, most games cassettes take about four or five minutes to load. In fact, that one over there, Attic Attack, is still loading. But with this disk interface, it's as quick as this. Just enter a few commands, press the enter button, and Bob's your uncle. Once you're hooked on the speed of disks, you'll never want to use cassettes again. And of course, what you'll then want to do is put all your cassettes onto disk. But that might not be so easy. You see, there are two main problems. The first is that all disk systems grab some memory for their own use. So your programs have less room to run in, and it might not be enough. The second problem is that a lot of your commercial software is copy protected. So unless you really know what you're doing, you're not going to be able to transfer it. You'll need to trade in all those old cassettes for disk versions, if they're available. Most software houses we've spoken to will make that swap for about half the price of the disk version. But that cr could prove expensive. And of course, if you've got a Spectrum, there won't be a disk version to swap to. The system we've got here gets around that problem by taking what's called a snapshot of the entire contents of memory and saving that onto disk. If I just press this button here, it saves everything. It dumps the entire memory, not just the screen, but the whole program. Now, that's a very, very neat system, very easy to use. But software houses don't like it. They think it's a pirate's dream. Although, of course, making a single backup copy for your, of your own software for your own use shouldn't cause any problems. None of the copy protection mechanisms that the software houses have come up with can defeat a system like that. Well, not this week, anyway. 